welcome back to another episode of Study Hall slash God <laughs> Treatment <laughs> slash Orange Card, Blue, Blue Card. <laughs> Guys, what we're doing today, uh, we are fresh off of Nats, and boy do we have a lot to talk about. Uh, we are doing this huge collab because, you know, we're all here in the same place, same time. Um, it was way more UFSU, but um, our student body's a little bigger. So, uh, we're going <laughs> to... That was a fat joke. No, it was just... Ooh. No, you definitely lost some weight. Oh, thanks. Oh, okay. 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 So, what we're going to do here, uh, this is a little unorthodox. We've got uh, probably a thousand people. We're going to run through real fast. I'm on a point. We're going to call names. I'm Tamron Cardwell. Brett Hillman. James Stevens. Bear Bryant. Dad, Chris Smith. Kyle Wright. Big Johnson. Tyler Clark. Chris Nixon. Billy. And someone else off his camera. So uh, what I want to talk about, guys, is uh, Nationals. It just happened. We have some fantastic news I'm sure you already know about. Bear, how you feeling, dude? Got a second. Pretty, yeah, I got a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it feels, it feels pretty uh, surreal, yeah. Um, I didn't think I was, I, didn't, I, didn't, I did not wake up today thinking I was winning the whole thing. You woke up today, you laid in bed, and looked at me and said, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna do well. Quote, not gonna I said, that's about singles, teams are I what said, matters. I said, who cares about singles? I wanna go win teams. Cause I mean, that's, that's how the day started. The day, teams, single teams. Yeah. The, the day started with Byron, uh, Byron who's off camera, and uh, JJ and I playing in finals for teams against Phil Birch, uh, Ben Shoemaker, and Dave Wagner's uh, team, which, uh, I haven't played four hours of that game, or that match against Dave, the one that decided it all. I played, it was basically a four-hour match. Um, it was the best UFS I think I've ever actually played in my life. I, I uh, mean, watching those games, those are some of the best UFS uh, games I think I've I made seen the in my life. least amount of misplays. I made the most future-driven decisions of like I need to, I need to start digging for this card, and like my character lets me do that. And so like if I can see this third shadow inheritance, I think I own this game. And then like the one or two turns before I was gonna see it, then Dave made that decision because he was on a clock, because he was gonna mill before I was. This is my turn, I go in. Mm -hmm. And that was the deciding turn, and that was the big one. So like, it was really surreal. I was upset we lost, I let my team down, um, but it's all right, it's not a big deal. Um, because well, I won singles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> singles, singles, everyone. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, I just, I had no idea. I woke up this morning feeling like ass. Um, I was, I felt garbage. I think it was from that pizza we had last Probably. night. I was yeah. like, ooh, this, I thought I was gonna throw up. I thought it was gross. I went to the bathroom in the morning I, and I just stood over the toilet. I was like, well, it's either happening or it's not. I was like, whatever. Left with JJ, came over. I tried to get some food in my stomach. I ate a little bit of cereal and I brought a bagel. I tore off a little piece of the bagel, ate it. The rest of it went to waste. Um, and then I just started playing. Um, after four hours, I sat across from Christopher Bromley, shout outs, who's playing that Fade Dad yeah, in the top yeah, 16. He waited well. four hours for me. <laughs> and oh, I felt, oh, I, I, all I did was apologize. All I did was, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry you had to wait that long. And then I beat him. So like, <laughs> and I was like, man, that must feel even fucking worse. And, but like, but I actually took that game to like, kind of, to wind down. Cause I was super mm -hmm. like, I was I, in, emotional. Yeah, yeah, up to, yeah, I don't know about yeah. emotional. Um, just I was really strung, emotional. strung up, passionate. Did you want them? Yeah, Barrett's a fucking. Robot. I was, I was yeah, uptight. I was, I was yeah. uptight. I was yeah. like, I was like, man, like, you know, like, like, did I make any wrong decisions? Like, could I have changed it? Things like that. Like, you didn't um, even let it carry over, like your team. Yeah, I, I told myself, I was like, yeah. man, like, I already, I did my research on this deck last night, yeah. um, and so I was like, I know what I have to answer it. I'm just gonna play UFS. And yeah. so I went in and I played UFS. I made some jokes. They're on stream. You can hear me, like. Uh, Shout outs to the Rochester CCG stream. If anybody knows yeah. the link, I think it's just Rochester CCG. CCG. You're a one stop shop for all your UFS needs. As Jesse Servini says, like them on Facebook. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then uh, I proceeded to beat him two games in a row. I think I just two of them. Um, and then just kind of maybe lighten up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then, because I won, and then uh, JJ won his round, obviously three hours ago, I then had to play JJ mm -hmm. in top eights. So it was rough. But then, but again, it was one of those things where like I got to kind of like wind down because like, I definitely just sat across from him and I'm like, I'm just gonna play good UFS with JJ. Yeah. We're gonna have fun. We're not gonna make misplays. We're not gonna rule shark each other. We're gonna fucking garbage. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> JJ was did upset. You say, did you say you're not gonna rule shark? Yeah, him? we did it. I didn't rule shark him. Rule shark will... me. That's because you tried to fucking well, respond Jackie when you're like so um, it was so, it was it was good. Like I two out him. He was super salty after game one. Sorry, JJ. I was. Uh, and then on game two, I played nine attacks on him one turn. Whatever, like nine attacks in one turn. 
Um, and it was over, and you couldn't do anything about it. Uh, so like, I won it, and then I was like, okay, now we move on. And like, oh shit, I'm in top four. I thought I had to play, I, th I didn't know we were in top four right because I was just kind of out there. Mm -hmm. And I played J-Ray, and I was like, oh shit. Yes, <laughs> that's wrong. Uh, because yes. Sam lost. <laughs> he saw three air ground smashes in the top 15 cards of his deck. Oh, that's all. What do I do? Yeah. I saw a singular flame aura, and I blocked two of them. I did. Yeah. Just what die. can you ask for? Sometimes you just die. I do want to know how you lost the game with 12 foundations to his two, though. Uh, <laughs> I, I gripped, uh, on the, on that turn, um, I'll tell you about the turn prior, but, but on that turn, I ripped a singular attack and he had five cards in his hand. Mm -hmm. And so I was yeah, like, I yeah. he can block whatever it is. He's obviously not at two. <laughs> yeah. So the bird's not going to kill him, so I'll just play out these and pray. I'm like, okay, sick, he just built again. F five more gray. And I'm like, yeah. well, I guess. <laughs> like, I don't. You had gray for like 50. That's, that's yeah, very, it was that's, rough. that's very, uh, me playing as Tim Keith at Worlds. Not October. Before. I was like, man, for two games. It happened to be two games in a row. Yeah. So, like, yeah, it was, it was, it was a little rough. Uh, yeah, so I played Jerry. Uh, I saw across from him. He's like my UFS idol, I guess. Uh, like, mm -hmm. I, I, like, I think I, I play very much like him. I love the style of decks that he makes, um, stuff like that. Um, so he is kind of like my like, like my senpai, I guess, or whatever. Um, so, no, like, so like, no, just no, like no. honestly, like so like again, I, I was trying to like just relax from that yeah. four-hour match. And I was I sat across from him. I was like, man, you know what? Like, I really want to win this, but like, if there's anyone I'm gonna lose to, I'm okay with it being this person. Kind yeah. of, and it was just yeah. like we played a really good game. Uh, I won the die roll. It's probably the only reason I won the match, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Went first game one. It's like fifteen percent. And then. Uh, yeah. Uh, did it, got it up through in game one. Game two, he blew me out. Um, I also just didn't see any like foundations, which is garbage. And then game three, it was just it was too fast for him. He whiffed on builds. He could never like he, like he never built like three foundations turn one. And then even if they he did, they were foundations that he would have to destroy or something to like to in, inhibit yeah. my turn. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you're gonna have to do it. Like he would build swordfish. He, like he, yeah. made, he built swordfish two foundations. I'm like. And I burnt the swordfish on turn two, and so I was like, that, yeah. that was my goal. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I'm going to make you use this, and I'm going to take this momentum and fuel it for my effects mm -hmm. later. So yeah, he, he just couldn't handle it. It was just too much. Um, it was really just, I don't, I don't think his deck really, it didn't foresee him winning that game. Sure. Um, and then, yeah, in tops, um, I played against uh, Andrew Force. That's a really cool name. From Rochester. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rochester, he's yeah. such a player. He's wearing his orange shirt. Shout outs. Uh, yep. playing Vicious, and I was like, holy shit, Cassie Vicious Finals, what the fuck? Who the hero him? and the villain <laughs> never would have saw that. It was like, two Absolutely. months ago? The actual Giant Slayer. Uh, absolutely. Yes. I mean, <laughs> the, only way, the only way this yeah. happened is because yeah. Cam beating Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Ran yeah. him over, boys. Uh, yeah. Seat two, or yeah, seat 15 of yeah. top 16, yeah. well, I don't know what your technical place was, <laughs> beating seat two. Oh, so. Yeah, that was that was nuts. Yeah. Yeah, so he, like, he honestly thought he had no chance with Cody Kim was slaughtering. We, yeah. we oh, practiced. And it was like, wow. last time we, we practiced, practiced last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah. we had pizza, yeah. and yeah. he was getting... Wrecked. Yeah. To be, and, but I, and that's the thing. Like I, we went to bed, he seemed a little disheartened. Mm -hmm. And that, and we, we we woke up and we said it real quick. And we said it. We just reiterated what we thought last night. Yeah. James's deck is just way better, honestly. Oh, yeah. it, it's underwater. It's not yeah. under depth. Yeah. And so I just think that having that hard pressure against mm -hmm. him actually prepared him even better. Even I guess. Better. The, yeah. Like this, I don't. I don't want to say the worst version of the yeah. deck. I don't know. I actually, don't it's know. A, like, it's a different version. Yeah. Of um, so yeah. like, but it was. Okay. Maybe, but Luke Cage is very good. Luke Cage is so genius. Like, we're, we're not going to run into your own Luke Cage. Yeah, yeah. 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 maybe if you didn't come out of fucking deck. Uh, a and side note, too, before yeah. we go yeah. on. Yeah. They also were talking about, just a little quick, they announced that they are thinking about doing MRPs yeah. of some cards that of, have touched characters. Touched characters yeah. on the weekend. Because they, they were. I, I hope. I, and, which is the coolest thing Jasko can do? They're listening to the community. It's yeah. so fantastic. It's not, it's Thank like, you very much, you guys. It's not even that they're necessarily like listening to the community. Um, they're taking they're taking them. they're taking the observations from that day. They're like, hey, we're gonna announce top sixteen. Oh, by the way, we were paying attention. Yes. We're thinking, and we are, are saying this verbally that we are going to maybe touch on these cards. And they even said like within the next few weeks or yes. like like yeah. very soon, like very by soon. the time this set comes out yes. uh, for Street Fighters or Darkstalkers. Yep. But so like to me, that means like. Maybe the static being off of fatality happens. Like yep. actually, and then yep. the card is still playable. The card is still good, and, yep. and then the card is uh, still going to see play. Obviously, it just won't be fifty dollars and won't be as oppressive. It'll be third. So from that segue, back to your finals. Oh sure, absolutely. Um, so it was vicious, and I'm like, man, is this 
is this evil vicious? Or like evil desperation vicious? And I'm like, and then Chris Nixon actually played against it because um, Chris Nixon also top. Um, he was playing Reptile. And then Good job, man. I was Thank told you. while I was playing my game against Dave still that he had lost. And I was like, whoa, what happened? So like, and you can explain how you told me. So like, I got blown out, drew a few attacks, checked a bunch of attacks, and I got murdered, no revokes. He hit his revokes, he revoked the correct cards to revoke. Yeah. Yeah, he was playing perfectly. Yeah, he played a strong game. Yeah, and yeah. Also a great player. player. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, he's, and he's a returning player, player too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and so, like, my problem when I heard this, I was like, oh, now I have to prepare against this deck. Um, he told me sadistic ways, and then here I am thinking, like, oh, shit, Princess Perry, Fade, fucking yeah. Copy Sama. Not nearly as greedy. And so I'm yeah, playing, yeah, I'm playing this yeah. finals match, staring at these attacks in my hand, and, like, foundations are, like, how many I have to put in my card pool to make this, these attacks, like, swing very large. And I'm like, Man, at any point I get faded or I get Princess Perry, my fuck it, it's, it's over. I'm gonna lose yeah. because I tanked game one. Oh my goodness! You got turn two. I it was so I solid. lost the die roll, looked at my hand, and it was a hand of my character's ready. I have it not over yet. I can play an attack and two foundations and stuff like that, and hopefully go off. And man, it didn't happen. We built two and did nothing about it. And I. Oh, no, actually, actually, no, you, no, no, actually you, we actually did him for 11. We, no, we hit him for, it was only like for eight, seven, eight, it was like eight or seven or something. I hit him for eight or seven, and I was like, okay, we did something on, with this terrible opening hand. Um, and, I, and I did check it out, too. If I had gotten rid of it, it wasn't much better. Um, like, Fair enough. And then, but with that, I put him so close to desperation, he proceeded to turn to me, and oh, I died wow. to a cat. And so I was like, Allurophobia yeah, for my yeah. new people. Uh, so I was like, oh. Well, we might just tank this. <laughs> so, um, so I was I lost game one, having lost the die roll, and so then I had to go into game two. I sided all eight of my cards. Holy shit! I had I've never done that actually, probably in the history of me playing this game. Um, I sided up. all eight of them. Just I put in I put in the third stop. I put in the two deliverances, the three show you Okins, and the two more uh, way of a true warriors. And I took out all the greedy ass cards in my deck. Mm -hmm. I took out the Agile Warriors, because I no four checks. I'm not taking it. Um, I took out the the Senshi Yamato Man Foundation. Yep. Yep. No four checks, no four checks, yep. even though that card does help me eventually. Um, I took out the power flips. We're not allowed to play knob blocks. We can't do it. No, nope. yeah. taking them out. Um, like Shogoku doesn't do much against that character. Obviously, like uh, there were some people I think that were a little confused. Power flip is a win more card, and I'm not in that position. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I needed that zero high block just to block something, um, and maybe it pays off with a multiple copy on uh, yeah. Sadistic Ways, and it deters his turn. And yeah. I think that's actually what happened in game three. I think I blocked his quick taste with that Show You Oaken in the beginning. And I'm like, I guess I'll respond with it. And then he's like, Yeah, I guess I'm done. And he's like, gotta get rid of that show you look in some time. And I'm like, oh, you might have just fucking had a fucking sadistic way. He almost went off on me. And yeah. he's holding two of them. He's holding two of them. Yeah. Wow, okay. So, yeah. yeah um, um, but it, so, they, so show you Okins came in, and then the Wave of Two Warriors came in to kill multiple, kill yep. throw if I need yep. to, or even kill powerful if I had yep. to. Um, so, like, those were obviously MVPs, and I think that kind of deterred him a little bit. So smart. And, and that was my about powerful. That was a <laughs> last minute decision yeah. before the, the tournament. That because Quan Chi got banned, I needed more text for Liu Kang because yeah. it, although it's not a hard, it's, it's sorry, it's not a like a zero, a hundred zero matchup. It's a very 50-50, I feel, yeah. especially with my deck, um, and it just kind of helps me out a little bit more mm -hmm. killing combo. So that's kind of why I did it. I won the whole thing. It was nuts. Um, oh, and then, again, at every point, I was stressing myself out. I yeah. thought he had answers to everything, and he just didn't. Yeah, he saw mad, man. He saw a fuck ton of room. Yeah, this is a mad. That's fucking sick. I didn't dude. even play this card. This card blows. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You heard it here Flashed first. Flashed back. Oh fuck! No, 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 no shit. Back. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Two episodes ago on the study hall, <laughs> Bear Bryant news flash. <laughs> The person that's gonna win nationals is whoever can play fatality the best. Oh, it's true. Uh, I definitely, it's true. I definitely said that. Um, you should own it. You I, should I own definitely it. said that, and yeah, I didn't play that card. Uh, I played against it though with fucking okay. vicious. Yeah. And that's so. Yeah. That's, that's so sad. Every time he plays one of those, too. Yeah. I'm like yeah. I'm not allowed to block this. <laughs> Go ahead. You're like holding a stop. You're like, yeah, man. No, it's really good. Shout yeah, out to JT. Really uh, JT for it. making all the mats. Like it actually yeah, it is beautiful. Um. It was like super surprised. All the top mats, um, so like we got one for teams, the toasty one, mm -hmm. and then we got one for topping singles as well. You get the electrocute mat. Yeah, they're all sick. sewn. Yeah. Um, the brutality one looks sick too. Yeah, yeah. the brutality one yeah. looks real sick. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, Jimmy just upset at me because I didn't, I didn't get us those. But um, that was the whole event. Um, I'm done talking. Yeah. Everyone else so has a lot to say. So here's what I'm thinking. Who had the worst record today? Tyler. Tyler. That's me. We're gonna start with the worst record, and we're gonna we're gonna work our way around yeah. the room. I don't need a huge length, lengthy explanation, but we're gonna yeah. get off of the tournament itself, and I want to talk about the overall meta yeah. of the event. Sounds good. So not your personal record, but how do you think when you are a observer of what happened? Obviously, Cassie Cage won. Liu Kang sucks. Scorpion beat him. Um, obviously, the, the, the meta <laughs> is sucks. he barely made it. I top deck Flamora with eight cards in my card pool. Whatever. <laughs> um, but tell me, tell me about your Nats experience overall, meta wise. I don't hear a breakdown. You didn't fucking win. We don't care. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm done. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think Liu Kang. Someone's got to be done about that. Obviously. Perfect. Like, even though he like the fact that you beating him got so much cheer yeah. from everybody in the room. Yeah. That's because, like, yeah. you. I mean, you, you also popped off. And you yeah. said the beast is dead. The beast is dead. And everybody dead. cheered, right? Because it was it was that yeah. much like people. This change. is so shitty to play against. Yeah. That that the fact that nobody else has to deal with it is just so great. Yeah. No, it's um, totally fine. What you play, Tyler? I play Luke King. <laughs> 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 I did too. So, so it doesn't okay. matter. Uh, I'm yeah. garbage. Mike yeah. also played Luke Kang. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's all. We had that's three Luke Kangs in this one. Uh, yeah. yeah. JJ yeah. played Luke Kang in I'm teams. Of Luke Kang. Right I here. played Luke Kang in teams. I went eight zero. And, si and he went eight zero in Swiss, <laughs> and, and actually, and then won the finals match as well. He didn't yeah. lose a single match. Yeah. Um, and he, he, he carried us all day. So yes, yes, I totally agree. Uh, who's next? Uh, I went uh, three and four. Oh, okay. You want to go to Rhett? Yeah. What's the one worse than me? No one? No one? Awesome. Perfect. Three and four. Four years playing. Three and four, boys. <laughs> uh, format's fine if you touch the Kang. Like, you can fix fatality to forget the static ability from it. But I had a fucking blast. Good. Who did you play? I played uh, Cassie in teams. Cool. And we top eight teams. And I played Takeda. My deck was very bad. Very greedy. Awkward. I talked so much shit about, about Alpha Male leading up to this tournament and then played two Alpha Male decks. <laughs> for, for, and then, like, like the entire tournament, I'm just like cutting Alpha Males, cutting Agile Warriors, yeah. and bringing in actual good cards. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I definitely agree with you. Um, the, the, I've been playing this deck since. Release? Oh, yeah, he beat. About it. Oh, so yeah, I did. Yeah, I, yeah, he beat I, me sorry. in teams. I, I, and I'm going to talk about it just because of the deck building, too. Because, like, Barry Everson, who also did really well at UK Nats playing the deck. Shout um, out. Oh, you mean uh, Tampa? What? Tampa. Uh, Sam, I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People started uh, Michael really Murray, Murray, Mike, Cassie yeah. in Michael Murray, Murray, and then Barry Everson basically sorry. cemented like Cassie as someone you need to be aware of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so um, and, flash um, I remember when we first started talking about her on study halls, and Barry does watch our, our content, so um, <laughs> uh, so he did message me actually as soon as that video came out, and he's all like, "Hey man, I heard you're playing Cassie. Can you want to shout out? Do you want to bounce off some ideas?" So we bounced off some ideas. He was playing a bunch of cards that I just didn't agree with. Um, uh, I was playing cards that he didn't really consider either, um, but I did steal some of my, some, like, I, like since she was totally his idea, I totally didn't know that card existed, and mm -hmm. I was like, I'm gonna try it out. Um, it's a very greedy card. Um, I played it's Alpha Male. It's a very greedy card. Yeah, it is a very greedy card. Uh, I played yeah. Alpha Male on my deck at one point. I Another played Novitiate in the deck one point. Uh, Bebop Blues was only at a one of at one point. Her one diff foundation was at a four of at one point. Like, I, I changed his deck so many times. Yeah. Um, so I tried Secret History at one point, Cossack Citadel at one point, like, because, uh, because like, uh, being able to play free fucking foundations is really cool, and then you can add it in with Cassie mm -hmm. and not lose a foundation. Yeah, and yeah. so, like, like, it's actually really cool, and so, I probably messed with this deck for four-ish months, since yeah. the release of this set. Um, I had two weeks. <laughs> yeah, hey, once you got banned, yeah, boys. <laughs> which is the only reason I decided to play it officially. Because um, if you if you've been watching Study Hall two, I've been talking. I I was gonna bring three decks to yeah. national. Yeah, I remember you saying that. See which one I was gonna play. And I, at the end of the day, like especially after teams and how we ended up topping, and then playing out tops of teams and being in the finals at the end of day one, I'm like yeah, I guess I'm fucking playing Cassie for singles. Um, so and I, I think it's only because I spent so much time on it. Yeah. Um, and I I, I hope I definitely helped my teammates play prepare against it too because like man all that Liu Kang I played against I played against one Liu Kang the entire event. Lucky you. Raise your hand if you fought a Cassie Cage in uh, in the event. Neo oh, was really cool. Technically in singles. <laughs> God, <laughs> uh, I played the mirror twice once in tops one in um, once in Swiss for teams and that's Aaron Cook's deck and man that deck is so fucking cool. 
My deck's lame. Fort Nagley and, Princess Party. And does it doesn't. Princess Fairy. Oh, and yeah. like, he's playing good, so like that deck can go to that deck can go to deadlock. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're the ten foundation master. Honestly, I do not know how you were sitting across from Dave, who actually had twenty two foundations. Did you count? You had ten. Yeah. And you're like. I guess everything's chill. This <laughs> is the dog in the fire. Everything's fine. Plus, what I'm talking about, the, what I'm talking about a little bit before, I'm like, man, if I see this third shadow in here, it's because I have foundations to kick mm -hmm. and bring new ones, or at any point I cast and don't build one. Like, yeah. like, and I choose and build one for my hand. Like, I, that's what I was looking for, and I just never got there. And so, um, but, like, that's the cool, that's a character likes me to do that, and her yeah. foundations. Honestly, Shadow Inheritance is busted. Like, it's great. It's incredibly good for Luke Kang meta. I was just reading comments on Facebook about it. Like, Cassie. Cassie's good because it's a Liu Kang meta and so like that kind of stuff like that. Um, but honestly, I like, think, I think that's a cop no, she's I, just, I mean, good. I think she's just a she's I mean, a, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's the thing too is leading up to this with the Quan with the Quan Chi, which I want to get to you guys because you, I know you guys were, oh, and, JJ. and JJ were priming on playing Quan Chi. Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah, I, the, 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 anybody, anybody else? Anybody else? I've only played that next to What the fuck is up? Nothing else. Except a love wrong release. But no, like what was your? I know you put on orange card, blue card. I haven't listened to the Rage and Self Fest, but. It's seven minutes, just get okay. through it. Okay, I'll get through it. But what was your overall thought about it leading into it? Uh, so, on, was, you know, like for those the, banning, the, the yeah. opinion of the banning oh, 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 a week and a half before. Yeah. Yeah. So it needed to happen. This, yeah. this format yeah. would have been even more of a dumpster fire. And I'll talk about this in like, the show. Like, this is actually right now, a so. minor dumpster fire, just solely because of Liu Kang. Uh, it's not nearly as bad as like the Ring Day Paul Man meta yeah. and with Turbo Man taking up third or anything like that. So Liu Kang pushes people towards having to like just do big swinging things or else you're just gonna get destroyed by Yin Yang. Mm -hmm. uh, Quan Chi would have made it much worse because not only are you getting blown out by Liu Kang, you're getting ground out or comboed out by Quan Chi. Like Quan Chi. So it's two very opposite ends of the environment and the players who are trying to be right here in the middle are going to be absolutely miserable because the two other ends are just so much more powerful yeah. than anything you can do. So with Quan Chi getting banned, a deck that's Cassie that just wants to sit right here has some really great cards, really solid cards, great synergies. Mm -hmm. Like Glow Kick's great. I, I co opted Glow Kick for Takeda because that's awesome. It's her kill card. Like, there was a, that was my problem with a lot, actually, a lot of these Cassie decks. People were building it around a Kimbo and they were like, I'm just gonna draw all these cards back. It's just a value card. Exactly. Um, and it's, um, and you actually get, like, obviously, you saw if you watched the boss battle, fucking Kimbo fucks you up against Coffee Samba. Like, if you're playing a Coffee Samba and you, like, you, play a poke turn or whatever, like Kimbo, yeah. you lose. Like, you can actually yeah. just lose that yeah. turn. Yeah. Um, uh, so, like... How are they watching the boss battles? Those are the I'm saying, y'all yeah. watched it. Yeah. 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 But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you saw in that scenario, yeah. like, obviously, like, like, six six Glow Kicks? Yeah. Glow Kicks <laughs> was the, is, is her best yeah, it attack. Is because you're able just to go, like, well, if they're sitting at, like, what, six or less, and you just go Foundation, Glow Kick, 20 speed. Yeah, it's I mean, stats. it's a format for five, so you're like, it six does or, everything you want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I think you're dead here. Yeah. Because you ripped one, you're like, oh, cool. Glow kick, didn't even know that was there. When you did the enhance, you went uh, against Jason, you were like, enhance, glow kick, you need reveal for, for the glow kick, you got power play. Off you the power play. Yeah, power play. You're like, well, I didn't know that it, was there. It wasn't supposed to be oh, there. That was my be. last attack in my deck. Oh. Uh, and I had this much left. That's a oh, very good. <laughs> yeah, that's why I had to win that turn. But moving on to Tam, you were, you were, also, uh, I'm actually gonna jump to oh, Jay. Yeah, I stole ahead. his deck for oh, teams. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead, Jay. Uh, so Quan Chi, I, I built him for the Mortal Kombat event that they had at Worlds. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, this deck's the best deck in the game. Like I knew it instantly. I was like, Fair just right. gonna play this. Right. Called dibs uh, on for all of like UFSU. I'm like, I'm playing this deck, singles, teams, every tournament I play until it goes away. I knew yeah. it should have went. Uh, I got up to the week and a half away, like this PTC, I saw he won and I was like, well I should probably build another deck on Ultra, huh? Yeah. Because <laughs> just in case. Yeah. And I built a Takeda deck on Ultra, and I'm like, eh, I guess this is a just in case. Got banned and I'm like, well, guess I gotta throw this shitty Takeda deck together and play it. <laughs> and it was just the infinite loop deck. Uh, I realized there's so many counters in the game to it, I'm just like, I ran into none of them, I just suck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I dodged Liu Kang all day. Getting turned to by turbocharged Liu Kang. Yeah. Counters don't matter. And then I was like, well, Liu Kang's the next monster. I'll just build this deck for teams, and I might play it in singles. And I built Metal Man for fun, just in case. In top of it. In top. Yeah. 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 And made top eight. Sorry. Sorry, man. Well, I played against Napalm Man with no, That's side, true. no sideboard. That's true. Yeah, true. He built it 20 minutes before red deck registration. Holy crap. 
He just threw cards together with no. Oh, from what I heard, what no fear. What a man. Y'all talked about his name was David Martin. Yeah, I'm not Shout out to like, man, Gabe. From what I heard, like, like, that, heard like from not like to take anything away from him getting up there. From what I heard, like he got like free wins all the way oh, through. Oh, okay. Like, still, but I got skills like, in the last he's, round. He still he, has to play. I got skills. Yeah, he still have to not check those three. He still have to play. No, I mean like he was given wins by Jackies. Oh, no, oh, I understand this, but like, you still have to play the game yeah, to get oh, up to that point. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'm not trying to take so. anything away from it. Yeah. Like, it was actually that's a, what I heard. It was actually a little frustrating, too, because I was fighting diversity against Barry Everson, um, and uh, because I fucking threw round oh, five. Before, before you go on, oh, yeah. there were 39 unique 36. 36, 36 unique out characters out of 99 people. That's so there, really so there were so many diversity battles. Or you guys saw it on the. We Facebook. only had three diversity. Yeah. though. yeah, only three diversity because there's so many people scooped. Because all of us were scooping, and some of us just plain suck. So, um, well, like, I'll like own that shit. So like, I, I, I played James in the last round of Switch yeah. playing Jackie, and obviously J Ray secured his spot. Yes. We played it out, but he we sat down and he he knew he, like, he knew he was gonna scoop yeah, to me. Yeah, 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 for sure. Barry yeah, Everson, yeah. my diversity one seat, one table above me, playing against uh, Corey Aguilar, playing Spike One, knew that Garrett Brett secured his spot. Yep. Um, and so they played it out. It was supposed to be a tie, and then Corey scooped to him because yep. he wasn't making it. I was mm-hmm. like, man, now I have to actually pray for tiebreakers. Yep. And I did end up making yep. a tiebreaker. Yep. So yep. like, and then he won. I think it was just because you beat James. I want to move on. Who's the next person? Who got, who got second I lowest? Probably. I was four three. Fourth. I got four three two two. Uh, toss the ball. Just toss the ball. <laughs> Talk about the map. As I knew it, you because your your first you know, your first big event like was Worlds, right? No, no, we went to Nats last year. You played Nats last year. Yeah, 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 he played Crash Man. You were the Crash Man, dude. Oh, you're adorable. I'm so sorry that you had to experience that. It was fun. Yeah, enjoy it. That's what I was meta. Or um, your experience as a whole for Nat. So I do just want to say, round two, I played against Barrett, and I fucking went so ham in game one. He, I had like he wanted to win. He wanted to win three, that game so bad. Oh yeah, I had like three foundations. I almost killed him. He was at seven, but I like made two bad checks towards the end, and that was it. Turns over and died. Don't worry. Game, he turned two me yep. with two foundations the next game. Yep, oh, that I did that. And then game three just didn't come together, and I lost. I was like, man. Yeah, all four of you guys. Yeah, you probably it. do. Like, I saw a bicycle yeah. kick. Two bicycle like, kicks in my hand. Nothing I also there. stopped him, and it didn't matter, because at the time it <laughs> happened, he had three Faticas that he drew for the turn. Yep. Yeah, sometimes Luke King doesn't need to dig. Sometimes he, he just, just has yeah. the nuts in his hand. Yeah. And so he's like, I guess I'm checking well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was me or... or I'm just crazy, but I played through stops so many times, and I killed people through it, yeah. I didn't even care. I, actually, I have two. <laughs> that card sucks against my deck. My, <laughs> I felt like Especially if you got a dick. <laughs> you got a dick, my knock on punches are still for a fucking yeah. through two. Hey, get it? But yeah. yes, the, the character is extremely powerful for like, <laughs> no reason. Although, um, <laughs> Never mind, no, I was gonna think, it was like, oh no, uh, they're supposed to be designed with like their own support, and I'm like, looking at my deck, it's all his support, he's too fucking good. Yeah, he is, he's um, I don't, I, I don't know if it's a good call to wait to touch him, like see if cards rotate and if that helps. Well, the problem I is like, I don't think so. I I think it, two it, weeks. Like, yeah. if Nero rotated, I think it'd be okay. But, but Nero's not rotated. No, Nero won't rotate for uh, two or three. Yeah, the other thing, too, is they take they, a week off. It's, it's, they, it's, they've it's already so shown us cards that are going to make this character nuts. Yes. yes. Like, uh, like... The the, fi- the fire Liu Kang deck actually becomes a real fighter because of all these kin supports. Yeah, yeah, stacking yeah. attacks on yeah. top of your deck. Yeah. You're like, oh, hands Liu Kang for one. I'll never miss it. Wow. Yeah, the card. Let's talk about yeah, it. So, like, that's the that's Plus the Fireball. Yeah, the, the, the only, like, problem card from old ones Nero, anyways, is yeah. the real. Mm-hmm. And, like, Nero's getting so much new stuff, is pretty good. But, I think, I think, like, with what's happened, it's a Swiss day and not a top day. It could be. So, I don't know if that uh, means. I think that's more. I think that's format dependent. I think that's more indicative on the way the game is right now, because there's more. It's. I hate saying this because I love UFS. It, it's more of a derp deck than it is. It's just like it can it 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 can take some skill to play Liu Kang, but then there's turns where you're just like, Hey JJ, I'm yeah, skilled. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna fuck you up. And no, uh, yeah, the only time I had to use skill was in the mirrors. 
you have to outplay the other ones that are just trying to just, yeah, just go speak. in. Yeah. So like every single time I played the mirror, I was never the first one to go in. Yeah. I would wait for them to go yeah, in. Yeah, and then I'd survive and backswing. Survive and backswing. Back 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 yeah. If not, they'd gas themselves. The all all games back back I never died once when I waited for them to go in. Christopher Smitherson. What? Tell us about your Kimba ball. Because I'm an old man and I need a stress ball. Uh, I went 4-3, Luke Kang. Uh, I was talking some good shit before the tournament. Yes, that was you sure. were, sir. Uh, found out my deck is kind of bad. If I faced non-Luke Kang deck. I built my deck for the mirror, because I was going to do what you said that you were checking his, his, against. His deck was, too. Yeah. I was just going to go in on turn two, hit all my fatalities, bubble block. Just I was killing people on turn one and in testing, and that's what was my plan. I was just going to try to kill you as fast as possible. Found out that doesn't work at nationals. So uh, no, nah, it was it was fine. I had a great time. Fought back. Finished positive. Um, Would have been diversified anyways because there were better players. So um, he definitely needs to be touched. Fatality needs to be touched. Yin Yang maybe needs to be touched. If you touch Liu Kang, Yin Yang is fine. I think I, I agree. Sorry, I, I agree. Yin Yang combos are playable under all the symbols. Yes, I will retract that statement. So definitely Yin, definitely Liu Kang, Fatality. Something needs to be done. Uh, I think everything else is pretty much fine. Fuck Coffee Sama. Well, Coffee Sama up. Well, I hate punching Judy as just as, uh, actually, as prince in principle. I'm so, so sick. Princess Perry is actually fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah, that card's fucking um, insane. Now, too. okay, like, but the, you also need to almost die to be able to use a one that doesn't kill them unless. Yes. You're yeah. Like, you're right. It, it doesn't yeah. kill them, but it also says that I. It, it, like, that one check says I there don't need, die. Okay, so there's like, like very my only issue sure. with Princess Perry is, is that. It needs to. It, it shouldn't be able to discard for free. It yeah, you should yeah, have yeah. to be able to play a card. That's what I'm saying. Should, should, should you play it on a five? Check a five. Cool, that works. Not just I put it into my card pool. Get rid yeah, of free counter time. spell. Yeah, no free, no free counter spell here. But if you hit yeah. inspiration, we can move on. That's good. Ka. Uh, I want to hear about your event, dude. This guy's fucking. fucking tell us, dude. Uh, I had a great time. Uh, I went three two two. It's my first event. So nice, dude. Was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But um. So the night before, after um, playing a few test games, I got very scared of Liu Kang and decided to not play the deck I really wanted to play. Which was? The Queen Bee herself, QB. QB, yes. <laughs> yeah. I was going to drag the player some bitches. It was awesome. Um, so <laughs> uh, so uh, instead, I was like, OK, well, what can I do? I only have a certain pool of cards. So I went through, and I was like, I need a character that can control the game, but also just not, just uh, not lose because it can't blow blow out against Liu Kang. Pretty mm -hmm. much what it is. Luckily, I didn't have that problem because I never faced Liu Kang in the event. Um, but popular. Yeah, it's weird. Just, weird. Yeah, it was weird. To work. Um, but so I basically built a evil scorpion deck, oh, but I played oh, Shinnok, expecting back. scorpion to be the diversity more matchup, uh, which more was the exact the opposite, game. actually. Yeah, and so I was sandbag and sandbagging into Scorpion from Shina. Um but my deck was a little wonky, because my deck was designed to Raging Demon. Um, <laughs> oh, you're the Raging Demon guy. Yeah, yeah, so I was, de I was designed to... Yeah, first guy invited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was designed to uh, drop uh, five cards, fifth card, Get over here, Raging Demon. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. Um, Agreed as you're Luke Kang fatality, besides that uh, one? Uh, I mean, Luke Kang being touched would be nice, um, but just so that people can play Luke Kang if they really want to, I think that his blue card's gotta go. So you, think, you think Yin Yang's the problem? Okay. Yin Yang, I played other yeah, games throughout the event against Luke Kang, and the games where they didn't see Yin, yin Yang, I actually beat his ass with yeah. every deck I played. I Yin Yang is your problem. I came over the woodshed and teams. Oh fuck! When, when, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, And it wasn't just you either. Yeah, I understand that. No, I, yeah. I, yeah, I actually felt bad about that. Yeah. I, I actually really problem. felt bad about that. Um, yeah. Fatality is a bunch of horse shit. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, it, like, I've been saying this forever, and I'm, I'm really hoping it for this set. Although I doubt we're getting it. Um, uh, I don't think he'd be a problem if we had more counters to keywords. Um, we have counters to things like stun and like, mm -hmm. ratings. Mm -hmm. We don't have counters to like like Wave of True Warrior was up in my deck because it did something. It didn't stop any responses. It didn't fucking stop Yin and Yang, but it did stop them using a combo. Yeah. Um, now we do have attack enhances that we can encounter. There's always revoke, 
But it's just more like, but if we always just removed a keyword or something, we, mm -hmm. could, we could do something. It's also fucking horseshit that combo checks for printed, so removing it for the rest of the turn doesn't fucking do anything. It's fucking horseshit. Garbaggio. Okay, uh, here it is. The land is playing of the game. The man who always has the worst fucking opinions about everything, James Stevens. The ball. That was okay. I went 4 and 3 with playing Jackie. That was fun. Uh, you always know your day's gonna go good when uh, you lose to a high name round one. Because <laughs> <laughs> this deck's so fucking lame. I added 4 attacks after game, losing game one and didn't see a single one in game two. I mean, it's because you wouldn't play 8. Oh, that's another card. It's 77 cards. It was 24! If you say so, I believe it was probably 8. 78 cards. 24 out of 77. But, like, whatever. So I lost that. I lost to Barrett, which got him in the tops. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other deck, which I think is the best deck I ever seen, I have ever seen it, even in this format, is Christopher Bromley's Bay. That, that, that deck is so cool. I, 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 I tried to get it across from him multiple times after I did, ended up beating him in top 16. I was like, look man, your deck is so cool and diverse. It's very linear, and he's playing cards like fucking Secret Stash and Faye to fucking put the four plus on top of your discard pile to, pick up, to pick up your kill turn and be like, like he's like, play another fucking attack, I dare you. Like, yeah. like, he doesn't say that, but that's what I felt. I'm yeah, like, exactly. like, when I play another attack, he gets to pick up something else. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is lame. And the fact, if you, you have the same grenades and the sadistic ways to kill you. Yeah. And, and just like multiple copies with Faye in general, uh, if, uh, if you at any point let her stick with the plus two damage enhance on, the, on top, like, it's just as good as playing against, against vicious sadistic yeah. ways, but she loads momentum with her character. Right. Um, so, like, that, or you got sand grenaded. And I was lucky enough. You got Caltrox first. Holy then you got Caltrox. Yeah, yeah, so like, if you had an answer to one of them, which is a mid multiple, well, you also need an answer for this low after you're stunned out. Oh, for 12. And it one shots you. Yeah. And so you're like, man, one of these, like, the answer, like, you know, you like, you just stop her. Like, and that's the only reason I won. Like, I, I think I genuinely won that matchup because it was like, it's so reliant on her character. And I play things like Bebop Blues. So, um, and it's just like, I play stop. It's just like, all right, you could use Faye three times a turn. And then it's over. Yeah. Uh, or once, and then I stop you. How's the format? Uh, format's fine outside of, like, I think Fatality needs to lose the static and the, uh, and yeah, the things I think is the problem. Because I can definitely kill people with that. I never, like, anytime I usually have, but like when I played against Tam, seeing Yin Yang didn't matter. I didn't care a single shit about it. We practiced for two hours, and I think I played Yin Yang twice. I think I, I, think I actually had an even better fix to fatality. Sure. I think the biggest problem is that it has combo on it. Oh, yeah. It's abused in that character very hard. Um, yeah. They could easily just make that enhance, deadlock I, enhance, if there's a I fatality think, proceeding this in your card pool. I, I just think the issue is I like... Do I have a joke about why it has combo. Because you, you, you flub the fatality and put so many times in the game that you do the first one, you have to do the second you, one. You do it again. Yeah. 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 So oh, funny. Funny. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't play fighting games. By the way, I don't play fighting games. <laughs> yeah, um, I've done that Uh That's really cool. Yeah. Chris Nixon, tell me about it, dude. All right, I, I played Cassie and Teens. My teammates didn't do very well, but I went four and one. Good job. I, I played Rep Reptile and Singles, which I went five and two top. Lost to Vicious, got murdered by them. Uh, ton of fun. Luke Kang is awful to deal with. Fatality is annoying. You can't do anything about it. Uh, I don't like cats, but that's probably just me. I like a little phobia? Yeah, I get yeah. blown up by it a lot. I don't, yeah. I don't like Hoppy Samba. I don't, yeah, we all, we all, we all have our thing. Cool. We all hate the part of the Keenan Meadows special deck. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, I mean, you. He still talks with still it. Talk, still talks with it. that deck, man. Right I still it. don't mind it. And all he did was throw fatalities in the deck in pits. Yep. <laughs> what did he play against first round? He played against Ken. Ken. He played against Kevin. He played against Kevin. Kevin Murray. I felt my hero. And he had turn one pit two games two in a row. row. <laughs> that was on straight dude. Oh, I was playing Street Fighter Ken. 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 No, what was his deck doing? Uh, it was uh, it was yeah, Missile it. Launcher Ken. That was Missile it? Launcher yeah. and like He wasn't doing oh, anything. Like, yeah, he had yeah, Ken's yeah, Tatsum on the other day. Why not? I don't imagine first. I mean I really like Ken. Here's some good cards. He gets a new Ken coming out. Now you can character stack them under fire. Oh, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna talk about me, then we'll go to Jake. My event was fine. Uh, I went the reverse 5-0 dream. I went 0-2 my first two rounds.
and then one out. But I did not actually oh, shout out to Mark Tyner playing Luke Hang in the last round. He fucking beat the shit out of me and then circled my name. Um, and he's a local player too. Yeah, very, well, I, very. I played him in round four of, or top four for teams as well. Oh, sure. yeah. Very, very cool thing to do, man. I appreciate it. Um, it was my destiny to lose to Mark so that I could beat Cody Kent and slay the beast. Um, <laughs> That match was incredibly hard. I luck sacked him in game two, and it was over back Oh my god, did you fucking luck sack him? Yeah. I won't get into it. I'm positive we're going to talk about it forever. Um, I want to talk about it just real quick. He double yin yanged you, fireballed you, fatalityed you, multiple threes you, and then when he's going for the Nero, he whiffs twice on fatality and a shield grant, and on the first Nero, you literally arranging a deal, top card. Ah, oh, Aura. Oh, what a Aura question. on a nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Please don't draw a Nero. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yeah, he put me to seven, and then we left. Um, but yeah, teams was fine. I don't think Goro's a, an issue. Like people fought. No. Uh, Jackie has a bit of an issue if she sees uh, air ground smash. But I'm not positive punishing Jackie because air ground smash is just a good card. It's it, in her. It's exactly what an ultra rush should be. So I guess I'm gonna disagree with. Yeah, I, like, I, I I I see you on that point. I just don't like the fact that if I'm going first against Jackie, she sees nine fucking cards yeah. before I even get to play a card. That's really really cool. But she's a five hander, and I get that. Totally. I get that's just a. It's more so that it's like, like yeah, she's still a five hander on the on offense. offense. Yes. On yeah. offense. Yes. I know that. Like, I, I agree. Unless you have air ground smash. There's just air ground smash. The format. Yes. yes. It's just there so is. much of the format was prepared for other decks that Jackie just gets to sneak in, yep. draw a billion cards. cards. And exactly. Yeah. Well, I think interesting too because of air ground smash. Actually, um, just before you go, like, uh, w any new five hander we get as well is under those symbols. Mm -hmm. have, air, you have water. under air. Yeah, water. Sorry, underwater. Water. Underwater water. specifically. Water. Simple yeah. locks. Yeah. 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 Um, but same thing like alpha male kind of thing. But like. Uh, if they still have those symbols and then also an air kind of thing like that, you want to play a different like a life deck like mm -hmm. most people are doing, um, or under air like Jerry's. Uh, like that's actually something to really consider. Yeah, it's yeah. so, <laughs> gonna make any any five hander have that offensive push. Yeah. Uh, so like Gil has life but doesn't have water. But so. yeah, yeah. Mike. The only thing I did want to say was okay, after the showing. So the most like the two popular characters was Liu Kang and then Jack. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I think the only thing that they need to do is also watch Jackie after. Mm -hmm. Does she, if she is a problem? Because I think they obviously are going to touch the game, even yeah. though yeah. somebody said. Yeah. But uh, I think they just need to watch her as well. Mm -hmm. I think a watch list is fine. Yeah. I, I think there needs to be more things on a watch list. I totally but agree. I, I don't think, like, right now there needs to be more things on it. Yeah. I just think the future. Like, Jackie can be, like, the start. And yeah. in the future, with this new set coming out, it could just be the start of something. That's we are right. approaching 45 minutes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, and that's okay. okay. So teams, uh, since I played all of tops, so I had eight rounds. I went eight no. Played the mirror six of those rounds. Two of all of them except one, which was Kelly. She got me in game two. Uh, I pretty much all I did was like build like ten foundations against them. And then when they would go in, I'm like, block reversal, respond to and yang, mm -hmm. your turn's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, you know, like, or like block reversal with the Neo Fatica, debuild their good stuff. Yeah, yeah you would just remove hard. their wind, their multiple punch, so their multiple copies wouldn't yeah. kick. Yeah. They'd have three cards in their card pool, and then you shove three in, so they're playing on plus seven progressive yeah. difficulty, yeah. while you're just like, I'll take 12 and then backswing you because you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much how I won the entire mirror every single time. God of Thunder plus Champion in Combat He's makes Luke Kang way too fucking broken. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I saw you do that. I saw you do I that. Did that, that, that was I, I, I threw three Nero's, which were like 30 high for 40 against Kelly. And it was a problem. <laughs> I totally <laughs> know. Yeah. 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 You're welcome. Uh, shh. <laughs> and then singles. Oh, no, like, when you're done. Singles, I played Metal Man because I wanted to have fun. I went in thinking I was going 0-7. I'm like, I'm just here to have fun. I went up against Jackie Briggs four rounds in a row, and I was like, huh, Jackie Briggs can't actually hit me with an attack. Because I would just hit them with a, like four attacks because they can't block, I guess. I don't know why not. But... <laughs> Uh, I would build down the selective blocks, and I'm like, discard, pick up, block. 
It was really easy, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be like easy to block it. And then I played a. Uh, I don't know about Luke Kane match again. Oh, uh, I played against Luke Kane in round three. Kelly again? Kelly. <laughs> This was her revenge, I guess. <laughs> because, yes. So she put two cards in my card pool at one time with a windmill punch of fate. So she played fatality, put one in, couldn't get rid of the face down because I can't do anything against that card. Played the windmill punch, and put another one. I removed one of the cards from my card pool with Master of Flight. It's a Gyroman card. Yeah. Okay. And. She, there were four attacks in her like 28 card deck, okay? She milled one card off the top, four times, all attacks. <laughs> she had a clean 24 card deck that Whoa. has all these attacks. I would have lived. What a beating. <laughs> I would have lived if she hit two, but she hit four. And I was like, oh, guess geez. it's over. Yeah, she dumps her. <laughs> so, so from there, uh, you went on, you topped. Topped. You, you, you played fifth. Yeah, you played fifth. You played fifth. fifth. Yeah, yeah. 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 an old character. With a Tim Keith character. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then meta wise, I think Fatality is fine with the you can't do anything against it, but I do not like that it leaves to momentum. That's the only thing I don't like about the card. Right. I think the card is perfectly fine. Being able to play a card for free enhances, I agree, is also yeah. good. Yeah. And the way you use the zero to attack for like breaker absorption, which like breaker blows right Kind of makes sense in the game too. You can't, you're dead. You're yeah. just going to get yeah. fatality. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then Liu Kang. Yeah, you just use a go. I mean, yeah, Play, go playing him, I was not afraid of any deck in the entire game. I just thought I was going to win no matter what. Jackie was his hardest matchup, and playing against a legendary wolf Steve. And all I did was realize I had to build for two turns. Yeah, and, and, and he's all like, I just played a controlled game. And I'm like, yeah, David, you know how to play a controlled game. And he's like, yeah, I just did that against her. And then and it was impossible. Dope, and it was over. Yeah. And so like they finished their matches before I even started. Okay. So with that, is there any last minute things we want to talk about? I know Mr. Humphrey wants to I was just going to have a side comment. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Come on in. It's like, you hit upon the next evol level of evolution of Luke Kang. You sat there and you built some foundations yeah, for the turn. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, that's the nightmare. Yeah, like, what happens when you sit there and yeah. wait for them to blink? Yeah, when someone was ready to just, like, play yeah. this character and, like, just build for two so turns. So many players, like, build three on turn one and then try yeah. to get in there and they gas themselves. Yeah. And, so, you know, sometimes that's just the way they lose. Yeah. I mean, it's, so, Champion Combat has a deadlock and ants for a fucking reason. Yeah. Maybe you should try and do something. Sit there, it. kill them on turn four with eight billion attacks. Oh, if they went to deadlock, I won the game. Go through your deck twice, yeah. fill more attacks, like, do it. Like, right, just, why not get yourself dead all the time? Extra extra time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, if I, like, if I just don't draw anything, yeah. I just go. Well, let's say we're building for four more turns. You're not going to kill me. Against Ben, I did that. Yeah, because I get to dig on defense, too. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I get decent blocks, and I get to dig. Yeah, like, and I'll, and like then maybe I draw a yin yang, I'm going to reversal and add three more to you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Worst comes to worst, they're poking you with tiny attacks, and you're adding your kill turn to your hand. And like, when you reversal like, and stuff a card, you're combat and say negative one damage, negative one damage, negative one damage. Oh, that's the best part. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, it's, this, this attack's doing nothing. That is eventually where Luke King will get once more people start iterating. Yes. Yeah. 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 And that's a nightmare. <laughs> which is why I just don't want to do Which is why Water and Death, I think, not, not even, even when Fatica rotates. I think it'll still happen because it'll just play more mid range. Play like control gen reversal. Death. Okay, and I want I want to get on that. So before before the, the tournament, a lot of people I don't know a lot of people but some internet shows my show for in particular. This is a guy on the street. Oh, uh, we're, we were saying that there is no mid range in this format. But what won the entire fucking tournament? Fucking mid range deck. Oh, well, I think it's actually um, it's actually a J Jeremy Ray's Jackie deck is actually yeah. very similar as yeah. well. Um, like, like, well I, I, I will totally yeah. agree that Cassie is a mid range deck, yeah. but the fact that you still have to have the potential to turn to, to somebody, somebody right yeah. now because Luke Kang exists. Yes, if exactly. you cannot backswing him when you live the build three foundations yeah. and run out of gas, yeah. you will lose on the next turn because yeah. you gave Luke Kang an extra turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but in life, that's why triple. Air ground smash can do it. Yeah. Playing glow kicks for the ton of speed, Akimbo's with a ton of damage can yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so I totally more from hell. I totally agree. So, a Yamato man action. Oh yeah, yeah with glow kick. Yeah. Yes, that seems like a beat. I thought about it, but I've, <laughs> there's too many actions in my deck already. Yeah. So with that, 
I don't think we have enough time to listen to no. talk about the spoilers. No. Plus, we have our own individual. Right, yeah, we can talk about one that. One more thing, too. Uh, I'll, well, I'll ask everybody. Surprise. Out of the Wait, entire oh, top 16, because, no, the top 16, the entire top 16, Tim, you talked about it in the pre-show, yeah. you were going to ask, you you guys were kind of being like, would you be surprised if blank character topped? Yeah. Out of our top 16, which ones are you surprised about? Napalm Man. Metal, Metal Man. All right. Napalm. Napalm Man. Uh, I would say that, um, Scorpion. Scorp Everybody, nobody. No, yeah, okay. I nobody knew thought Scorpion was hey, 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 I took hey, Scorpion in the draft. The right I tiled it. Hey, I did. You have six. I believe I knew it was going to be like thirteen or fourteen Mortal Kombat slash Bebop yeah. characters, Bebop. and then yeah. a couple others. Yeah, yeah. 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 sad and news. Vicious. Sad news. I didn't think it was vicious. I don't know. I have Taxi Cage on my character. Like I, I knew it was good. I knew it would be like. I was expecting Luke Cage. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, so, 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 I think one of the biggest surprises is that and only Spike 2 is just like dead. Like, hey, Byron played Spike 2. He's, he's, he's off camera, but he <laughs> plays Spike 2. But like, I'm just saying, like, Spike 2 as a single player is just <laughs> walking into hand cannons. <laughs> yeah, so big dog. It does. It does. It does. Hey, being able to being able to put your hand cannon. I think the only way you can possibly play Spike 2 right now is under life with your own. So that your yeah. first enhance is, ah, you can't, you can't play yours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you better have it in your hand. Yeah. 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 I, I think that's actually the best, but why I think I did so well. Um, she doesn't, get, she doesn't get affected by hand cannon, yeah. yeah. and fatality, milling, yeah. doesn't work against her. And bang and doesn't really stop. Yeah. Bang, bang and stop don't do enough yeah. if you don't have enough vitality. Exactly. So, I would say... I think we pretty much This done. was a fantastic crossover episode. I'm so happy. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to crossover with DC. I call the arrow costume. Dibs. DC. <laughs> Nightwing. So with uh, that... Comic book stuff, I don't read. Where can you find Brett's uh, orange card, blue card Orange podcast. card, blue card podcast can be found on the Podbean website. I post it there. Chris I will have it up on screen. Yes. I also do <laughs> dead texts when I feel like it, which is almost never, but sometimes they put something up there. Uh, <laughs> Nationals has given me plenty enough ideas for content. So. Perfect. Yes. Good. More regular yeah. stuff? Or? Life is pretty crazy right now. Totally understand. Yes. Three minutes every week. Yeah. But, uh, you know, one day's off, I can probably get something up maybe two, three times a month. So I love it. Good. Good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Um, U of S University, you can find us out on patreon.com slash TCG University. If you don't want to throw us the bucks, it's totally chill. Just go up to the YouTube page by, I think, U of S University. YouTube.com slash U of S University. Yeah, something like that. Like, subscribe. And then, Dad himself. Where you at, buddy? Uh, YouTube slash uh, uh, Rockford CCG. You can find us there. All the gals remit. Yeah. That. All the... Staging area, match videos, you can find us out on uh, the Guile Treatment on Rockford CCG on SoundCloud. That's on there. Um, haven't started the, the Patreon yet. Have some ideas for that. Gotta talk to you about that. Perfect. He told me so, this morning. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, look forward to maybe more content. We're going to get Fred on. We got to get this man on. Uh, with uh, the glorious yeah, well, fucking last episode wave dagger. I have to get sad again, though. Yeah. That's the reason you yeah, want but, me on this oh, show. Oh, no, you're sad. You're going to be fun. But, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I think this was a fantastic idea. So close this out. Yeah, uh, see you guys later. Stay alert. Stay alert. Been there. Bye, guys.